There is disruptive alternative technology to NVIDIA and that is what this show is all about and that is what IP Exchange is all about. So we wandered on to this booth. Accela AI. One, two, three. Come on. Tell me, if you're at the moment looking at computer vision, mm -hmm. lots of amazing companies out there offering you a computer vision solution. This kind of thing, for instance, you'd have got lots of videos at CES yep. on the IP Exchange uh, video content feed on YouTube. How would your solution compare to theirs when people are trying to work out this kind of thing? Yeah. So what we do, we like I just said, we have the most powerful AI chip for edge devices, right? So what we can do where, let's say, um, alternative solutions would have, let's say, a multi-chip solution or something else, what we can do, um, just our single um, chip, what you see here right now, can power over 16 concurrent streams. So right now we're also in, let's say, ISC West Las Vegas. And what we're showing there, we're showing 24 concurrent streams at the same time, right? With a very high, uh, with a very high inference, very high, uh, amount of frames per second, but at the same time, it's just That's on a single chip, it's very low cost, very low power. So it's a huge amount of bandwidth is what you're actually it's saying? It's a huge amount of bandwidth, huge amount of throughput, exactly. Right, right. So if you need, so, so, so you might look at an alternative mm -hmm. with this kind of bandwidth, yeah. but because this is on the edge, mm -hmm. you're using a lot less power. Exactly, yeah, it's purpose-built, right. exactly. Right. It's purpose-built so, together, it's so, a hardware and software platform, right? So we want to make sure, what we also see, is that it needs to be very intuitive, right? It needs to be intuitively simple for developers that you know want to plug and play and want to build it. So that's why we build our software suite, right? Our Voyager SDK. We build it up together with our Mavis AI processing unit. So it goes hand in hand. And you know whether you are um, an, an embedded engineer and really want to go into the code, yeah. uh, or if you got less experience, we have let's say a declarative code. We got a YAML file, which makes it really easy for you just to create your pipeline and just you can. Just uses via a Voyager and then it just creates the code for you. So you don't really need to be a computer vision engineer. You don't need to be an expert to use your technology. And it really lowers the barriers of entry. Right, so you got both the powerful chip, mm -hmm. lots of bandwidth, yeah. very low power, but also then a very nice environment that you can learn and do this sort of AI computer vision. Yes, exactly. So, so, so just, just very briefly before we come to an end, what's your definition of AI on that chip? Because obviously you're really good at mm -hmm. understanding movement of people or yeah. movement of data. What's the AI that's going on here in terms yeah. of how that chip's working? Yeah. So what you're seeing here um, is basically uh, one of the, uh, the machine learning models, the AI models YOLO. So we're uh, using YOLO V5S here. So um, it's based on a standard data set. Um, and you know, we are using this in a way where you see there is a possibility of a lot of object detection at the same time. Yeah. Um, and that just makes it incredibly powerful. Right, right. So that's that whole bandwidth thing again. Exactly, yeah. It's uh, like a very high throughput, it's like say very high frames per second, all a right. fraction of the uh, cost and power consumption of solutions available today. Right. So if you wanted our disruptive community to understand and take away from Accelera today, mm -hmm. what is it that's, that, that's most powerful about what you do? Is this offering this amazing bandwidth that you mm -hmm. might get from other suppliers? It's, yeah. But very low power, and then you have software that can will enable you to learn about it and be intuitive about it exactly. very quickly and straight away. Exactly. So just to summarize it, it's you know high performance and usability just at a fraction of the cost of power consumption of solutions available today. Very good. Very good. So if somebody wants to evaluate that. What, what, what sort of evaluation environment can you offer them? Yeah, no, absolutely. Like I just said, we announced um, our evaluation kits, which are shipping globally as of today. So we do it into different form factors because we understand, you know, there are different use cases and we want to have something for everybody. So we work together with partners like Advantech. Um, also, we have systems from Dell, from Lenovo, but also, let's say, an embedded board from Firefly, which is ARM-based instead of H86. So we got something basically for everybody. They can order it via our website. Um, and then we ship it to you. Excellent. Well, very nice to meet you. Thank you very much for that in in introduction. And we Likewise. wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much for your time. Good. Thanks. Hey, where my engineers at?